Recap day one of Prime Minister Modi's visit. He landed in New York around afternoon. The scenes were as expected. A big Indian American crowd had gathered at the airport. There was dancing, singing, and a lot of noise. We spoke about how vibrant the Indian American community is, and that vibrancy was on full display. The crowds weren't just at the airport, though. They also gathered elsewhere in New York, like at the iconic Times Square, and in front of the hotel where Prime Minister Modi was staying. It was overwhelming, but on expected lines. After soaking in the welcome, the Prime Minister got down to business. He didn't have any political engagements, though, but he did meet some important people. There were discussions with think tanks, healthcare experts, and academics, plus sit downs with Elon Musk and Neil deGrasse Tyson. The meeting with Musk is getting a lot of attention. It was their second meeting, and afterwards, everyone was asking the same question Will Tesla come to India? Well, Musk hinted at some positive news. He said that he's planning to visit India next year and that Tesla will begin India operations as soon as possible. Listen to this. He really cares about India because he's, he's pushing us to make significant investments uh, in India, which uh, it is something that we, that we intend to do. Um, and we're just for, trying to figure out the right timing. I am a fan of Modi, so, <laughs> so I have to say that. So what's stopping Musk? Apparently taxes. India's import duty on electric vehicles is 60% and more. Elon Musk wants India to reduce that. And what's the government saying? Well, why bother with importing? Set up a factory and make your cars inside India. That's reportedly the government's position. No import, no taxes. Perhaps we could see an arrangement soon. But that was day one. Day two is also about yoga, all about yoga, you could say. Today is the 21st of June, which is International Yoga Day. The Prime Minister was at the United Nations headquarters. He led a mega event in front of the lawns. Take a look at this. Yoga is free from copyright. The power of yoga, not only to be healthy, happy, but also to be kind to ourselves and to each other. Let us use the power of yoga to build bridges of friendship, a peaceful world, and a cleaner, greener, and sustainable future. We're told this was a world record. You've heard about the health benefits of yoga, now hear about the political benefits. Yoga is India's gift to the world. It's a major soft power tool. Prime Minister Modi recognized this early on in his term. In 2014, he addressed the United Nations General Assembly for the first time. This was his message on yoga. Yoga keval vyayam bhar na hokar apne aap se tatha vishwa va prakruti ke saath तादात्मय को प्राप्त करने का माध्यम है आइए हम एक अंतरराष्ट्रीय योग दिवस को आरंभ करने की दिशा में कार्य करें यूनाइटेड नेशंस लिसन द वेरी नेक्स्ट ईयर इंटरनेशनल योगा डे वाज सेलिब्रेटेड एंड नाउ इट्स एन एनुअल इवेंट वी सी मेजर सिटीज होल्डिंग मास योगा इवेंट्स ऑन दिस डे वी सी एंबेसीज जॉइनिंग इन ऑल ऑफ दिस सिग्नल्स योगा सॉफ्ट पावर क्रेडेंशियल्स इन फैक्ट आई हैव सम नंबर्स फॉर यू In 2019, the global yoga market was worth $37 billion. We're talking about 
a wide range of things like yoga mats, online classes, studios. All of this made up 37 billion dollars. By 2027, it is expected to reach 66 billion. That's a growth of 9% per year. Here in the US, it's a big hit. There are more than 48,000 yoga studios and Pilates studios across the country. Plus, I'm sure a lot of online ones. How does this growth help India? For starters, familiarity. Through yoga, a lot of people will learn about India, our ancient practices, our culture, and of course, our core beliefs. Think of it as an introductory course to the country. The Prime Minister talked about this today. He linked yoga to New Delhi's emerging worldview. Listen to this. Yujjate etad iti yoga arthat jo jodta hai wo yog hai isliye yog ka ye prasar us vichar ka vistar hai jo pure samsar ko ek parivar ke roop mein samahit karta hai योग के विस्तार का अर्थ है वसुधैव कुटुंबकम की भावना का विस्तार वसुधैव कुटुंबकम मींस द वर्ल्ड इज वन फैमिली इट्स आल्सो द स्लोगन ऑफ इंडियाज जी ट्वेंटी प्रेसिडेंसी सो योगा कैन एक्सपोर्ट इंडियन कल्चर एंड वर्ल्ड व्यू टू अदर कंट्रीज बट देयर आर मटेरियल गेन्स टू लाइक योगा टूरिज्म व्हेन पीपल लर्न अबाउट योगा दे विल वांट टू विजिट द प्लेस ऑफ इट्स ओरिजिन टू सी हाउ योगा इज प्रैक्टिस्ड इन इंडिया Now it's hard to say how big this industry is, but I'll give you a ballpark idea. Global tourism is worth around three trillion dollars, and around fourteen percent of that is wellness tourism. Yoga would slot right into that. The event at the United Nations headquarters is all about visibility. Most people already know about yoga. Today's event was for those who did not. With that, the Prime Minister's New York leg came to an end. His next step is here in Washington DC. We're expecting him to land in the next hour or so. And here there is not much room for soft power. It's all about hard power, talks and strategy, defense deals and geopolitical challenges. And one country will dominate those talks, India's northern neighbor and America's chief rival, China.